Well, they are among Philly's best today. The Lindback Foundation is presenting its annual Distinguished Principal Award to seven administrators in the Philadelphia School District. Yeah, CBS News Philadelphia's Lakeisha Bailey spent time with one of the honorees who says their top priority is bridging the gap between the community and the students. Lakeisha, yeah. good morning. You know, we wish we could tell everyone's story yeah. because there are just so many great administrators in our schools. Well, you don't have to go far to find an exceptional leader when it comes to inspiring our youth. Today we are headed to Chestnut Hill where a principal says she knew at the age of five years old it was her destiny to educate children. I'm great. I'm great. It's so good to see you. Every morning, Principal Corinne Scholey can be found outside Jinx Academy for the arts and sciences, greeting her students with a smile and a hug. The smiles on the community faces, parents, children, it is the best. As we joined her during student drop-offs, she humbly stopped and acknowledged a sign created by her students. I don't do any of this for any fame or glory. The University of Pennsylvania alum is one of seven administrators to receive the prestigious Lindback Award that also comes with a $20,000 stipend for their school. Principals are nominated by peers, but it's obvious her students had a say. She is the best principal in the world. Through heartfelt interruptions. Oh, thank you, my lovey. Sholey says the money will be used to build more collaborative spaces, similar to the use of the school's library. For community partners to come in, sit around a table with our children, and really develop uh, projects and programs. Over the next several years, she hopes to transform the school's gym that also serves as a cafeteria to a multi purpose room. With new furniture and some soundproofing. So in the morning times when we're not running lunches, I can really make that collaboration space for our International Baccalaureate program. One day, this space will be as colorful and vibrant as many of the murals throughout the school. As the hugs were endless, it was at the same age as some of her youngest students. She knew she was destined to teach, thanks to her late grandfather. I just started writing my name on the dirt. He said, can you show me how to do that? He started tracing my letters. And you know, I think back like today, it's that same core love that I felt on that day that I feel today. And every morning after. Great to see you. Have a great day. Well, congratulations to all our recipients. And next month, the Lindbeck Foundation will award 60 teachers who will be given a $3,500 stipend to use in their classrooms. That's really uh, nice. Making a big difference. <laughs> yeah, and kids remember that. I bet you yeah. those kids, you look back 20 years uh, from now, they'll remember their you principal. Guys, it was so hard to do the interview because every three minutes she was giving <laughs> out hugs. Everybody wants a hug. Everybody wants a hug. And it's so nice just to see the kids come up. And it wasn't acted, you could tell. Right. I mean, she wasn't strip scripted. Right. I mean, they just came up. They gave her a hug. She knew all of the parents. I mean, just sweet. And I mean, she oversees like 500 students. Wow. So that's a lot of students. Wow. Yeah. But you know what? Everything that they do, it's all about collaboration and bringing the community indoors to really inspire these young well, people. An award well-deserved, that's yes. for sure. Makes Thank those you. those kids want to be in class. Love it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky.